Hello Pisces, it's my lady from my lady's boy Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of August 7th through the 13th, 2017. Mm. So somebody's being a manipulator. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the books to ensure you get your message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. And if you want a personal reading, just check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. So I feel like this manipulation is, is bringing your self-esteem down. So I feel like you might be being manipulated. Um, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. And let's get this show on the road. I, think I, I don't think I'm missing anything. Okay. So what's going on for the Pisces? Pisces, Peter, Pisces. Pisces, what's going on for the Pisces? August 7th through 13th, 2017. What's going on with the Pisces? August 7th through 13th, 2017. Love reading. Pisces love reading. Okay, guys, let's see what you've been up to. Sorry. Oh, somebody's been contemplating time out. You have Pisces. Okay, so you guys have been contemplating time out because you feel like you already know where this is going. Okay. All right. Um, wow, you're trying to you're talking about or thinking about timing out because you know where this is going and you're starting to gather some kind of physical feelings for um this person. Okay, so it's basically like I feel like this means stop, like stop what you're doing, get out of your head. Like, you know, it's going to happen, but it's like, you keep stopping it when you, it's like you stopping yourself from dealing with somebody because you're being attracted to them. So it's like, you don't want to go that far. So you're going to stop this relationship and it's saying, stop doing that. Stop it. Okay. So, this could be somebody you work with or somebody is trying to protect you from this person or somebody is trying to hold you back. It being reversed, I feel like somebody holding you back or somebody holding your person away from you. And it's like you feel like that it's going to affect your life in some kind of negative way. Okay? Mm. So it's basically saying you feel like something is going to go wrong or somebody is, it seems like you feel like something negative going to happen, but it's like, this is saying like, it's what you contemplating is not going to happen like you think. What you've been thinking about is not going to happen like you think. All right. It's like basically... Make a wise decision. Okay, let's ask what this wise decision would be. What is the wise decision for the Pisces? What is this wise decision for the Pisces? August 7th through 13th for the week of August 7th through 13th. Love reading 2017. Mm. It's basically don't listen to other people or other situations about what you need to do. Like, you need to find wisdom in yourself and stop using these other people. Because these people you're going to don't seem like they're out for your best interest, okay? Mm. So, right now, yeah, you're just in your head about the whole situation. It's crazy because I don't see anything wrong here. But we ain't got to the Cleo cards or haven't gotten to the Cleo cards yet. So, I don't see any third party. All I see is... Um, negative influence coming in from people who's not in the situation. You know, I feel like you're starting to catch feelings for somebody, you know, and somebody is telling you this is a wise decision to um, not deal with this person. But in reality, they're not your friends. They're not trustworthy. Okay. All right. So what's going on? Yep. Somebody's waiting on communication from you or you're waiting on communication from somebody. All right, what's going on for the Pisces for the week of August 7th through 13th, 2017? Pisces, August 7th through 13th, 2017. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Mm. 
mm, mm. Somebody crying over spilled milk. Oh, a lot of fives. Oh my God. Whoop. Two fives off rip. So a whole bunch of fighting going on. Mm. Celebration. So somebody's mad about a celebration. Oh my gosh. Mm. Okay. It seemed like the devil is trying to stop you from your happiness. Right now, you are mourning over some kind of loss of some fight and craziness that's going on in the future. But um, you might be having fun. It might be a, a third-party situation, just a get-together, uh, uh, just with people. It might be some kind of third-party situation, possibly. Or maybe it was a third-party situation in the past and you celebrate it, celebrating it being over. Because I don't know why I keep focusing it in on the sticks. The sticks are up. Like two are down, two are up. The cups, three are down, two are up. You know what I'm saying? So it's still like threes and twos. Like you right now you got two and you're trying to celebrate that. But you keep thinking about three. You know, you drop two back here because it was three. You know, I, that's, I don't know why it's, it's looking like that in my head. But, but this is the devil playing around. Like all this... It's just going to play into negativity that's trying to stop you from your happiness. All right, let's read the book. That's just what I think. Let's see what the book thinks. All right, so we got the Five of Cups. It says, a loss of some kind is indicated. The realization of something which was believed in, which is not true. Tendencies of drug and alcohol use. So it's basically like when you find out these friends is trying to betray you or just like thinking of things in the past or the things that you making yourself think about a situation that's going to drive you to drink or use drugs because you ended, it seemed like you're pushing somebody away because of maybe things that happened in the past. And it's like you, um, it's not going to be good for you. You know, it's, it's going, it's going to make you realize after it's already gone that you didn't lost this person over some something that you can't can't change and it's gonna mess you up mentally all right all right so we have the five of staffs and it's upright all right people are fighting caution must be used harm may follow uh arguments can occur and continue a card of a verbal or physical struggle disagreement and complete discard so yeah somebody used you and left you in the past and you using that for everything you know it's like in your happiness and it's it's bringing you sadness you know it's like you won't let something go okay all right so you got the three of cups three of cups three of cups three of cups so three of cups is upright it says uh, a problem has been solved, and it is now time to celebrate. Enjoy the moment. Favorable favorable outcome is predicted. So it's like, I don't know. you having fun, but you're thinking about all them spilled cups still, you know? It, the, the spilled cups came down here, and it's a celebration, and you won't come to the party. you sitting up there waiting. Like, I still have these. Leave it alone. <laughs> let it go there's fun outside you know go pick up your cups and get your stuff together all right so now we have the um the devil the devil is here mm -mm. all right that's not the devil all right so the devil is upright it says a time of violence and abuse physical and sexual mental or substance Thoughts of self-destruction and regret. Mm -mm. Uh, people who seek the power of freedom from others. Bad person, person with ill intent. So I feel like this coming back here, this coming back to you crying over that spilt milk and going back to the other cards, you just letting other people make you... Ugh. Just make you feel a certain way about the situation. Right now is the time to be happy, but you won't let that happen due to this stuff that didn't happen to you in your past. And it's going to lead to, like, negativity. I feel like here is more of a substance abuse because these are both substance abuse cards. 
I feel like this might be too. So it's like, uh, just basically stay away from the booze and the uh, drugs or whatever kind of, um, that just get out your head and just go do something, relax, maybe go work out or go fishing or play a pool, you know, just get away from the negativity for a minute before you drive yourself crazy. All right, so we got the sun card, and this says, um, a time of ab absolute joy and happiness. Uh, you look at life with great gifts and full of uh, future fortunes. So many good things approach. Everything you touch will lead to success and ultimate success. So it's basically like, you really ain't got nothing to worry about. You should just live and have fun here, but you in your head. You in your head, and it's going to mess up everything you got. You just got to get out and live and realize that everything you have, you deserve. You're going to get everything you want, but you got to let go of the past, let go of the negativity. But in reality, what can I do but tell you? That's all I have. Um, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal read, check in the description box below. Thank everybody for all you do, and have a nice week.